And the Twitter files were not just about Hunter Biden's laptop. Twitter files make it apparent Twitter worked overtime to suppress accurate COVID information. Dr. Jay Bhattacharya is a professor of medicine at Stanford who once tweeted an article he wrote about natural immunity. Thanks to Elon Musk's release of the Twitter files, we learned some of his tweets were tagged with the label of Trends Blacklist. Apparently, the views of a Stanford doctor are disinformation to you people. I, along with many Americans, have long-term effects from COVID. Not only was I a long hauler, but I have effects from the vaccine. It wasn't the first shot, but it was the second shot that I now developed asthma that has never gone away since I had the second shot. Um, I have tremors in my left hand, and I have the occasional heart pain that no doctor can explain, and I've had a battery of tests. I find it extremely alarming Twitter's unfettered censorship spread into medical fields and affected millions of Americans by suppressing expert opinions from doctors and censoring those who disagree with the CDC. I have great regrets about getting the shot because of the health issues that I now have that I don't think are ever going to go away. And I know that I'm not the only American who has those kinds of concerns. From Dr. Martin Koldorf, a Harvard-educated epidemiologist who once tweeted, COVID vaccines are important for high-risk people and their caretakers. Those with prior natural infection do not need it, nor children. The Twitter files reveal this tweet was deemed false information because it ran contrary to the CDC. So my first question this morning of Ms. Gaddy, may I ask of you, where did you go to medical school? I did not go to medical school. I'm sorry? I did not go to medical school. That's what I thought. Why do you think you or anyone else at Twitter had the medical expertise to censor a doctor's expert opinion? Our policies regarding COVID were designed to protect individuals. We were seeing... You guys censored Harvard-educated doctors, Stanford-educated doctors, doctors that are educated in the best places in the world, and you silenced those voices. I have another tweet by someone with a following of a full 18,000 followers. This person put a chart from the CDC on Twitter. It's the CDC's own data, so it's accurate by your standards. And you all labeled this as misleading. You're not a doctor, right, Ms. Gaddy? No, I'm not. Okay. What makes you think you or anyone else at Twitter have the medical expertise to censor actual, accurate CDC data? I'm not familiar with these particular situations. Yeah, I'm sure you're not. But this is what Twitter did. They labeled this as inaccurate. It is the government's own data. It's ridiculous that we're even having to have this conversation today. It's not just about the laptop. This is about medical advice that expert doctors were trying to give Americans because social media companies like Twitter were silencing their voices. Did the U.S. government ever contact you or anyone at Twitter to censor or moderate certain tweets, yes or no? We receive legal demands to remove content from the platform from the U.S. government and governments all around the world. Those are published on a third-party website, and anyone can review Thank them. God for Matt Taibbi. Thank God for Elon Musk for allowing to show us in the world that Twitter was basically a subsidiary of the FBI, censoring real medical voices with real expertise that put real Americans' lives in danger because they didn't have that information.